Hi, it's Millie, and you are at Crafting in My PJs. Well, it's almost Christmas time, and if you are looking for a last minute gift that will be a hit with everyone, here's where you need to be. All right, so what do we need for our um, gift? We need a big bowl has to be really big. Well, I use this one and it's perfect. Something to stir with. Um, something to heat up in. And some wax paper, which you see down on the table. All right, and the ingredients for this awesome, awesome treat. Oh, by the way, the, it's named white trash or holiday trash, depending on what you want to do. This vid, I'm sure there are like tons of recipes that are very similar, but this is the one that our family likes and expects every year. All right, so the first thing you need are two boxes of Czech cereal. You want different flavors, but you want two. So they come in rice, corn, and wheat. I don't care for the wheat, so I always get rice, and corn. Um, I kind of get the big box, uh, like this one says family size. There's no real, there's no real measurements, but say hi to Gabby in the background. All right, she happens to like white trash too. All right, now the corn checks. And I saved my cereal boxes because I use them to make junk journals with. So we won't throw those away. All right, pour it in. Then you need a box of golden grams. Every now and then I make the mistake and I get cinnamon toast crunch. It's okay, but it's not golden grams. Golden grams is it. It's the bomb. So we're gonna open that up. And we're gonna put that in. All right, then you need a can of cashews, whole cashews. Um, the bigger, the better, because this is probably the favorite in the trail mix that we're making. So let's open it up. And we're just gonna pour those in. Does not have to be unsalted. They can have as much salt as you want. All right, cashews. And then last but not least, well, it's not last because we have one more ingredient after this, a bag of pretzels. Sometimes you can find Christmas tree pretzels or other shaped pretzels. I try to go with as smaller as I can. It's probably the least favorite ingredient, but it's kind of necessary. So it is a filler in there. All right, so we can put that. Now this, I try to be a little careful not to get the salt that settles at the bottom. So I'm gonna pull them out, but leave all of that salt in there. All right, that's good. So you can see how full our container is. Look at that. Now, the ingredient that holds all of this together is this awesome white almond bar bark, the vanilla flavor. I use two. I would say, uh, yeah, they're a pound, they're a whole pound. Well, one pound, four ounces, so they're 20 ounces. So you're gonna use um, a little over two pounds of this. Follow the directions on the back for heating. That's the best thing you can do. And so I do one package at a time, and then while the second package is heating up, I, um, I'm i mixing the first one in. So you just wanna break it up, put it in a glass bowl. I would not put it in a plastic bowl because sometimes heating up a product that's oil-based like this, it uh, will melt your plastic. All right, be back in a minute. Well, our chocolate is all melted and yummy looking, and we're gonna pour it right in. Kind of spread it over as best as you can, 
and scrape those sides. We want to get every last yummy drop. There it goes. Yay! I'm back. Okay, the other batch is melting as we speak, and I am just mixing. And look, it doesn't even look like you have any white chocolate on here, right? Well, I guarantee you it's going to taste like you have white chocolate on here. So we just want to mix. Try when you mix not to crush up your cereal or your pretzels. So I try to come with my spatula along the side and then just turn it over. Uh-oh. We had some spillage. Oh, take you take care of that and it's all gone now. Hmm? No spillage, none. <laughs> all right, so we did a good job mixing this one. We've got one more batch of chocolate to put in. And then we'll be mixing that one up too. So I will be right back. All right, so here's our second pack of um, white chocolate almond bark. We pour it in, get every last drop. And we're going to mix again. Well, I don't... Rusty will get that. <laughs> Or peanut. Oh, I hear Rusty coming. As you watch the whole table bounce because he's underneath it hitting it with his back. He identifies as a chihuahua, but he's an 80 pound doodle. All right, so this is just kind of the most tedious part is just mixing making sure that you've got things as covered as you can. It's not, oh wait, I got a whole big hunk of chocolate here. It's not gonna really show every year. I go, oh my God, I don't have enough chocolate. Oops, that's all right, it's gonna get covered. I'll take care of Those are gluten free, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, every, should be. yeah. I think it said it on the box. Um, so, every year I think, oh, it's absolutely not enough chocolate. But y'all, it really is like just the right amount of chocolate. Now, I, in the past, I have mixed in uh, red and green M&Ms. They were okay. They didn't really show like you think they'd show. I don't know why. But I guess you'd have to have a lot more M&Ms for that. And, and that's all I've really added to it is the M&Ms. All right, so we have it as mixed as humanly possible because my arm is giving out. I do have this clump of white chocolate right there. Get it unclumped without breaking up too much stuff. Make sure you're getting down at the bottom. Leave it alone. Don't come and get it way over here. All right. All right. So then the next step is dump it out on your wax paper. And this part you can see if you did if you have some big old hunks of chocolate that didn't get mixed up, you'll see that and you can oy, spread it out. Alright, 
ends out the way. I might need more wax paper. And then we're just going to spread it. You're going to spread it out so that it can dry, so the chocolate can dry. Ooh, stay on the paper. Um, I just take my spatula and I kind of press down and separate. Oh, yeah. crazy here. I know, I know. Usually I layer it better so that as I'm pushing, it doesn't push the paper. Start the camera works, Funky. We're trying to save the, the <laughs> Save the trash, save the trash, whatever you do. All right, so you just want it to be in kind of a, a single layer-ish. Not, not too dramatic, but... Um, it makes it easier to break up when you go Yes, to yes, because we're going to have to let this cool off, let the chocolate re-harden, and then we're going to break it up and we are going to package it. All right, so I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit more. I need to add some more wax paper and I will bring you back when we're ready to package. All right. yeah. Hey, we're back. It's been about 30, 45 minutes. Everything is dry. You can feel the, um, the chocolate is dry to the touch. And all I'm doing is taking, my hands are clean, just washed everything and I'm breaking up. I'm breaking up as I put into a bag. Just like that, you kinda want, you don't want big old clumps of stuff that it's hard for people to eat. So just gathering up, breaking it up if it needs to be broken up and put in the bag. And you can see that, you can see the white chocolate mostly on the pretzels. That's what it shows up on. But it is, you do have a fine coating on everything else. All right, so this will take me a little while now to package this all up. Cause it and we are done. We have 25 bags, um, like this size, like six by six type bags, and another gallon size bag. All done, ready to give away for Christmas. This will go to the family house for Christmas Eve, and the rest will be given to family and friends. And that's it. So guys, if you like this video, please give me thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you like these types of videos, please give me a subscribe. That would be awesome. Y'all have a great holiday season and I'll see you later. Bye.